the thing with problem is this <clears throat> if you're a good trader you're disciplined you're patient you're consistent you're simply going to make good money from profit but the thing is this it has a it has a downside and one of the downside is basically because it lacks sustainability i'm going to explain what this means in this video but i want to know that a profit is simply a company that has enough money to be able to give to traders who are looking for capitals to start their trading journey now what they do is this they give you the money you're looking for by simply you proving to them that you can actually trade this money they'll give you a challenge if you're able to pass the challenge then you get the live account i'm going to explain how all of this things work in this video but before going to that if you're seeing me for the first time my name is divine and what i basically do on this channel is document how i trade and as well show you the mindset behind my strategy if you want to see something like this please do me a favor smash the subscribe button i'll be right back let's assume you buy it from account probably you bought a thank you account thank you account Now what this means is this, you are requesting for the profit to give you $10,000 in capital for you to trade in capital. And probably maybe you bought this profit account for like, let me say, $100. Right? Now for this profit to give you this amount of money in capital, you simply have to pass a challenge. And challenge is in two phases. You have to pass phase one. And you have to pass phase two. Now, the phase one can simply be for you to make at least eight percent of this amount of money for you to pass phase one. That means you have to make eight percent, which is equivalent to what eight hundred dollars. That means for you to pass phase one, you simply need to be able to make eight hundred dollars profit in phase one and now phase two for you to pass phase two you simply have to make at least five percent profit which is simply what five hundred dollars in profit now what this means is this if you're able to achieve this phase one phase two they will give you a 10k capital right that means for the profit to give you this thing you're looking for, you have to pass phase one and phase two. But for you to pass this phase one and phase two, there are rules you have to follow. The first rule is simply daily drawdown of 3%. Now what this daily drawdown means is this, that any day you come to the market, you are not allowed to lose 3% for that day. That means 3% is equivalent to what? $300. Any day you come to the market, you're not allowed to lose $300 in the market. If you lose more than $300 in the market, probably maybe you lose like $301 for that day. You have lost the challenge and you have to buy another one again with $100. That is the moral we have to follow. Now, number two rules. They have plenty of rules, but let me give you. I'm going to give you the major rules. Number two rules is maximum drawdown of maybe ten percent, depending on how nice the problem is. Ten percent, which means you're not allowed to lose more than one thousand dollars on that account. That means if you're trading this ten thousand dollars account, I'm going to give you as as a, as a demo. You, have, you don't have to lose more than $1,000 generally. That means even if you lose today, lose tomorrow, lose next tomorrow, your, your compounded losses should not be more than $1,000. If, if, if you lose more than $1,000, you have lost the account and you're going to buy another one. Now, the other rules like don't hold trade overnight. If you hold trade overnight, you have breached the rule, you have lost the account, you buy another one. So I might tell you not to hold trade over the weekend. If you do that, you have lost your account. There are plenty of rules 
that you have to come with problem depending on how nice the problem is. So my even tell you not to copy trees. Depending on how nice the problem is, you have to follow the rules and abide by the rules. Now, once you eventually make this whole follow these whole rules, follow the whole process, follow everything and pass accounts, they give you a life account of ten thousand dollars. Now, once they give you these life accounts, they have a different tool you have to follow to pass step to be able to maintain this life account that I'm giving to you. Now you have to follow that rules to be able to maintain that account. So my tell is you can only withdraw once in a month or you have to withdraw after two months after they are about they will give you the rules on how you're going to withdraw and how you're going to be able to trade the account. And mind you, this same rule still applies to this same life account. That means you don't have to lose below $10, you don't have to lose a whole man more than this on the life accounts. The same rule that's applicable to this point is the same rule that you have to apply to this point. And you have a point where you, have to, you are going to withdraw. My time is wait for one month before they give you the payout. So different problems have different rules that you have to follow for you to be able to get a life account. And even if you get a life account, they have rules you have to maintain the life account. The question is this, how long can you maintain the life account? That's why I said it lacks sustainability. How long can you be able to sustain the life account? That is the question right now. Now, problems is good because you have to be able to get more capital. Yes, but the question is how long can you be able to sustain this life account? Now that's the whole that's that's what I mean by lack of sustainability from the traders. Now let's look at lack of sustainability from the pro firm. Now the pro firm understands that out of hundred persons who buy the pro firm. Is only one person that will get that account. They already understand that. That if, if 100 persons buy this pro firm, it's only one person that might end up getting the life account. That means 99 persons is going to lose and one person is going to make money. And now for them to pay this one person, they have to simply use the money that this 99 person lost to pay this one person. That is how they pay people who are profitable in the markets. They have to use those people who are failing or the money of those people who are failing to pay those who are actually making money. Now the question is this, what happens if there's less people buying this profit? What happens if they are not making much sales like that? How are they going to be able to sustain in paying this one person that's making money? That's the number one question. Now, when they see reasons why they cannot be able to pay this one person, they begin to manipulate or tell you, give you reasons why they will not pay you, even if that reason was not there at the initial, at the initial point. That means they might, tell, they might give you three rules to follow. And when they see that they're no longer making sales, they, invent, they, invent, they will invent a new, a new rule that you have breached before that you don't even know that there was there before that's the question i'm asking what happens if there's less people making sales if they're, if they're making less sales how are they going to be able to pay the profit because the, the profit on its own does not have the capital on its own to pay a person they rely on probably those who are buying challenge the capital from those who are buying challenge that they will use to pay this one person that's the one question now let's assume, let's say, let's say 100 persons buy this prof firm again, 100 persons buy the prof firm and this time around now, probably, let me say, 30 persons are making profits. That means they have to make 30, they have to pay 30 persons a particular amount of money by the end of the month. And for them to pay 30 persons, they simply have to use the capital from these 100 persons to pay these 30 persons. How long are they going to be ground doing these things to pay everybody who's making money? There's going to be a point where they're going to be tired. They will not be able to have enough money to pay to their well profitable and they will end up closing. And when they close up, 
you're probably going to be left stranded if you're, if you're using the profile <coughs> if you're using the profile you're going to be left stranded my whole point is this programs are very good for you to use to trade but it's not reliable this dog let me my video it's not reliable and there's going to be a point where you're going to likely lose money or oh, sorry they're going to likely close they won't have enough sales they won't be able to have enough money to pay people who are profitable and what happened at that point is that they begin to close and give you reasons why they're not paying you or they begin to manipulate and tell you that oh you made a mistake you flowed you broke the rule and all of those stuff and then they leave you stranded so the whole point is this both from the traders and from the profit it lacks sustainability that like even if you're going to pay you for a short period of time it can't be able to pay you for a long period of time now I don't trade profit yet. I don't do profit yet, and I have my reason for that. I believe that for you to be able to achieve everything you want to achieve on profit, you have to simply be reliable, and you have to simply stick to a very good profit. And there are plenty of profit that are very good out there that you can buy. But the whole point of this video is for you to understand how profit works and what I think about profit. And this will be the end of this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace.